Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel, Badison Intuitive Tarot. Hope you are doing amazing. In today's reading, I'm taking a look into your romantic love life for the week of November 2023. I'm going to pull a few A7 card spreads, see who's heading towards you this week with romantic intentions. I'll take a look at how they feel about you. I'll take a look at their true intentions. I'll take a look at how they're treating you overall for the next several days or so, see if I can see any red flags. I'll also be diving into what could be in your blind spot with this person, Pisces, meaning what could potentially go wrong around this time frame that maybe you have no idea could even challenge you to in the first place. I'll pull some advice to see how you can navigate that, whether to prepare for it or simply avoid it altogether if it hasn't happened. Once I pull out these bad boys, that's when your girl gets extra nosy and get as many details as possible. Um, I do try my best to leave no stone unturned. I like it when you guys walk away feeling like you got more answers than left with more questions, right? Pretty, pretty in depth here. All right, so let's, let's begin. Spirit, please connect me to the zodiac sign of Pisces today. Who's heading towards them this week with romantic intentions and can Pisces trust this person and what's the situation happening around them? Pisces is open-minded to the messages you have in store for them as long as the messages are for Pisces highest and greatest good. Seven card spread, Pisces, November 2023. Love, what is their weekly tarot forecast? Two more shuffles. One and two. Let's rock this deck for my beautiful water babies. Okay, Pisces, the person heading towards you this week, what's their feelings towards you? We have the nine of wands, their intentions towards you, the chariot, major account for cancer. Now, these two cards together feels like you got somebody this week that is feeling like they need to protect this relationship with you, okay? It's, it's the energy of, I do not want to give up on my relationship with Pisces, but man, have we gone through some freaking test, you know, because the Nine of Wands is that wounded warrior. It's that person that feels like they keep on getting knocked down, but they always get back up because they're not a quitter. You've got somebody that doesn't want to quit you. They feel a lot of love for you with that Cancerian influence. But this week, they feel like they have to pump the brakes on the relationship for a minute to really figure out what is necessary for the two of you to move forward in your lives, whether together or apart. Because this week, they're feeling like they're being met with two roads. One road leads them to you in that house, Four of Wands. The other road leads them to taking a different direction because they're not sure if you and them can really make it work, but they're willing to try. They don't want to lose you. But at the same time, the Nine of Wands is the energy of feeling like, God, it can't get any bad, better, uh, it can't get any worse than this. You know, something's going on. Okay, something's going on. What's their behavior towards you this week? The Nine of Cups. They're going to try and do whatever to make you happy. This is somebody that wants to show you that they're not quitting on the connection, that you are important to them, that they want to make you happy. Um, but it's also telling me that they also want to feel happy too. Because the Nine of Cups is somebody that, you know, puts their needs first and whatever's left, they give to others. So this person is really trying to figure out if you guys have what it takes to build a long lasting relationship. So it, it's definitely showing me that they're going to try to integrate some maybe dates with you or some sweet love messages. As I see someone here doing like a, like a little hobby, like going on a little outing together and do a nice little hobby together to put some romance into the situation because they feel like your connection has been challenged. They feel challenged and I'm seeing repeated nines and nines are the number of releasing what no longer serves to give space for new beginnings. So this person is trying to figure out, do we go towards our happiness together or do we go separate ways? You know, crossroads. How do you feel about this person this week? The Tower, major for Scorpio. You're feeling like something sudden took place between the two of you. Whether you had a recent argument, whether you guys are in the midst of this, or something else is going on, you feel shattered about something. You're feeling like unstable in your energy. You're not feeling comfortable right now. You feel like something is changing between the two of you. This person doesn't want to quit the relationship, but they're also acknowledging that it can't continue on this way. You know? The tower is the number 16, which breaks down to four fours. Fours in numerology speak of foundations. It's the fourth house, our home, the community we share with people, our family, everybody that we care about under that one roof. But if there's a lot of fighting and arguing under that roof, 
someone's needing to exit if that's what's necessary. So it's feeling like you and this person have been tested recently or it's about to happen this week and your person doesn't want to give up on you, but they're also trying to figure out if they're giving up on themselves by not giving up on you. So you've got somebody here that's trying to figure out if you guys have what it takes to continue the relationship further or to travel away from it. Okay, it's definitely strong energy coming through here and this is Scorpio energy. So something during Scorpio season is uh, triggering you guys to really look at what you guys may be arguing about and what you're, it's like pick and choose your battles, essentially. You both are being guided to look at the relationship and look at what's important and what's not important. Are you guys focusing on the little things and blowing them out of proportion or are you focusing on the positive things of the relationship? and enjoying that and feeling grateful for that. What's challenging your connection this week? The Ten of Pentacles. There could be family involved, friends involved, you know, gatherings involved, something involving people that you know and care about maybe affecting your relationship with this person this week. You know, maybe a, a family member said something that triggered you both. Um, or maybe someone said, you know, bad advice. I don't freaking know. And the Ten of Pentacles is also the energy of building a long lasting relationship with somebody. So what's challenging you this week, what's in your blind spot this week, is you both are trying to figure out if you have what it takes to build a long lasting relationship together. Some of you guys may have already been committed to each other for a while and someone's trying to figure out if they can still carry on with the relationship given the situation, okay? Ten of Pentacles is being with someone for 10 plus years. It's having family together, having children together, living in a house together, paying 3D bills with each other. It's earthy energy. But you guys are trying to figure out if you can get to that. That house right here is the Ten of Pentacles. Inside of that house is this energy where you guys sit down at dinner table and eat together watch TV together. That's the Ten of Pentacles. Have Thanksgiving with family and friends involved. Your person is trying to figure out if you guys can have that in your future. What's the energy going forward? Justice, major for Libra. It feels like something's going to work out the way that it's needed to. Justice is all about fairness. It's all about peace, restoring the peace. Um, there may be a mediator here. Um, it's the energy of doing what's right for the both of you doing what's 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 fair being honest with each other you know it's being civil so if you guys had a challenge recently where you guys weren't being civil with each other it looks like you guys are gonna make up because that's making up that's putting some fun back into the relationship going out on a date just focusing on the positives less on the negatives because it's definitely needed you got somebody here that does not want to give up on you but they can't ignore what's in front of the two of you anymore they can't. Neither should you. What's your advice? The Eight of Cups. With your advice being the Eight of Cups, that's the energy of walking away from what no longer serves you. Whether it's walking away from fighting about little things, whether it's walking away from focusing on the negatives all the time, whether it's walking away from this person, they're saying that there's something you need to walk away from. You need to be honest with yourself and figure out what that is for you. Okay, what's the overall energy for the connection? The Queen of Pentacles. So it looks like you guys have a lot of earthy energy attached to you. You both might be in a committed relationship. You guys are nurturing each other. You're still like grounded in each other's lives, but there's a tear here. There's a tear in the fabric and someone's trying to sew that tear back up and fix it. So Pisces, you got somebody this week that's like, I want to fix this with Pisces. If Pisces will just let me, you know, it's like you guys are at a war with each other. Now this is just for the set next seven days. Sometimes tarot has the tendency to make things seem more dramatic than they really are to add in the theatrics. It doesn't have to be that like, you know, crazy. It could just be one Sunday afternoon, you guys were fighting over the remote control and this person like, do we have to fight about the remote control every freaking time? You know, it could be as easy as that, but it also could be just as big as that. Um, all I know is the Queen of Pentacles is telling me that you guys already have a relationship intact, but there's some tears in the fabric of your life together. You guys are going through some sort of lesson. Okay, so we'll see. We'll see what's going on. We'll see. Your person's feelings towards you is the nine of wands this week. You know, that's that, that person that is at the home stretch, doesn't want to walk away now. It's, they've already put in too much energy and it's like personal now. It's 
like, I can't walk away. I've already invested so much energy into Pisces. I can't do this. It's having a lot of physical attraction for somebody, but also emotions too. Why the Nine of Wands for how this person feels about Pisces? The Sun, Major for Leo, and the Page of Cups. They care about you a lot. Um, they care about you a lot. At the end of the day, you are their happy. You are what makes them happy. There's emotion that they would like to express with you. Um, for some, there could be a child involved. But it's telling me that this person wants to put you know, some playfulness back into the relationship with that Page of Cups. And I said something similar with that Nine of Cups. Um, Aquarius got something similar, so you could be connecting with an Aquarius or you're on the cusp. But anyways, your person is like, can we just put some fun back into our connection? Can we be, can, can we be playful? You know, they may be researching little spots for you guys to go out on a date, researching online, some hobbies that you guys can do together, trying to change things, trying to look at the positives and less on the negatives. Now I'm seeing the seven of pentacles, which is the energy of looking at what you've already invested a lot of time and energy into because the seven of pentacles always talks about what you've already put into a situation. It's past energy that is showing up ready to harvest. You're taking, your person's taking stock on what they've already invested in you and trying to see if they're getting value out of all that hard effort, okay? And then there's the nine of wands again. So let's clarify your feelings because your feelings this week is the tower. You're feeling shocked. You're feeling surprised. You're feeling like caught off guard about something. And just as I say that, I find the five of wands and the nine of wands. It feels like this week there could be some arguing going on, some some spats, some no you didn't flush the toilet, no you didn't. It, it's little spats that can blow out into proportion, okay? Because it does look like something is domesticated, where someone might live together and someone's throwing their stuff out on the street, um, or there's talks about living together, but someone's being hit with some challenges. I'm strongly getting family involved family involved, like family added some conflict to your relationship with each other, whether it was like an ex, a uh, husband, ex-girlfriend, whether it was a mother-in-law, a sister-in-law, an uncle, a friend of the family, it feels like something. Why the tower for how Pisces feels? The world card, the nine of wands again, and the three of cups in reverse. Three of cups in reverse, that's drama within, you know, friendships, it's drama with someone that you're dating, and um, you're fearful that something is coming to an end, but you don't want it to end with that nine of wands. You both don't want this to be over. You both don't. But you're yearning for something, Pisces. There's something else bothering you outside of this relationship with this person that might be affecting your relationship with this person. Like your mind is wandering to something else, something in your life that you're yearning for and you feel is missing in your life and it might be affecting you guys' relationship together. Um, there's something going on here, but I do see where you are excited to talk to this person day to day. There's still this excitement for you guys to communicate with each other. You guys still feel joy when you're around each other, but something's testing your relationship this week is what it feels like. And I'm going to clarify and find out what that is. Okay. Why is the 10 of pentacles what's in the blind spot for what can negatively impact Pisces? Are you guys fighting about children, six of cups or siblings? or um, people that's been in your life for a long time, Six of Cups. And if it's not involving children or siblings or anything like that, the Six of Cups is repeating the past over and over again when it's in the blind spot. And then I got the King of Pentacles. So we have a true pair here. So it does tell me that you guys are either, you know, in a relationship already or there's potential marriage involved. But it is showing me that you know, what's hurting this relationship this week is someone keeps on bringing up the past. Like, keeps on bringing up the past. Like, repeating, uh, like, um, going over the same thing over and over again. Talking about, you know, it, it, it almost feels like um, this week, you guys are trying to work towards your relationship Someone brings up something that already happened in the past and it triggers an argument or it triggers a disconnect. And, and someone here is wanting to say, can we stop reliving in the past? Can we stop reliving in the past? Like someone's bringing up an issue from the past. Because normally the Six of Cups is all about nostalgia, 
positive memories, things like that. But when it's in the challenge position, when it's in the blind spot position, it's it's like the opposite, right? It's like reliving memories that aren't so freaking good or someone looks at all the negatives instead of looking at the positives. Like someone likes to look for problems and not solutions to those problems, you know? It's like someone's always focusing on the problems but never focusing on finding a solution, just wallowing in problems, 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 and it's exhausting for somebody. And then we have the King of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles, which is the head of the Ten of Pentacles family with the Ace of Pentacles. So they're showing me that there's an opportunity for you and this person to build and to keep a relationship strong and growing strong if you guys can walk away from past issues that are no longer necessary for your present relationship. And I do have that as your advice. So I feel like you both could, you know, walk away from the same argument. You know, there's something going on here. Let me get a card on your, your person's intentions. Your person's intentions this week is the chariot. That's the intent to move forward with a lot of confidence. It's the energy of not wanting to look at the past anymore. It's like you guys are fighting about the past over and over again, or someone returned from the past. Why the chariot? The death card and the ace of swords. What's hurting this relationship is something that was over keeps on being brought back up like opening up that wound over and over again. You see how this dying cat has nine ghost kitties coming out of its body? Someone's pretty much saying, we have already been through this nine or so times. Why do we keep on beating a dead horse? Why do we keep talking about the same thing over and over again? Ace of Swords talking, Ace of Swords talking about something that already happened, already ended, and it's connected to the past Six of Cups. Like um, either you or this person or somebody else keeps on bringing up something that happened between the two of you's relationship in the past when you guys already had it squashed and like reopening the wound again. You know, like for example, say you and this person were dating for a while and you know, one person stepped out and cheated, but you guys made up and reconciled. During an argument, someone keeps on bringing up, well, you cheated on me. Well, you forgave me. Why do you keep bringing it up? That's what it feels like. It doesn't feel like you guys cheated on each other. I don't feel like there's any affairs going on here. But it does feel like someone keeps on rehashing the same childhood wound. Someone might have a childhood wound that triggers them. Someone here might be struggling with healing from a past situation that dates to their childhood, Six of Cups. And the Ten of Pentacles is family. So Pisces, either you or this person, someone here has some old wounds surrounding their childhood, abandonment issues, or not feeling loved by both parental figures, or feeling like they were always ignored, you know, with their siblings getting all the attention, or... It feels like past life energy too, like you guys have some past life karma maybe. Six of Pentacles, someone being generous. Someone here might have felt like they were always on the outside watching other people get treated with a lot of generosity. Like the, the black sheep of the family or something like that. I don't know. Someone's feeling triggered. Your person's intentions is... I already did that, didn't I? Did I? Ooh, I went to that instead. Let me go to the intentions. Chariot. I usually do the intentions first. The Three of Wands, and then I got the Three of Swords on the bottom. So the Three of Wands as your person's intentions. That's the intent to put themselves out there and explore the relationship, see where it takes them, coming in expecting something positive to come around the corner, like your ship is coming in. But with that Three of Swords being here, it's like someone's haunted by the what ifs, by the pain, you know? Someone feels like some, they keep on reliving the same pain over and over again with their person. Or if that's not between the two of you, maybe somebody in this connection is feeling like something connecting to a past relationship is feeling familiar in this current relationship and someone's getting that, oh, here we go again. Is my person going to do the same thing my last person did? And I know how that ended. You know, if someone's feeling triggered by some past events. Your person's behavior going forward is the Nine of Cups. Why the Nine of Cups as this person's behavior towards Pisces going forward? They want to make you happy. 
the Knight of Cups. They want to be romantic with you. They want to be more expressive. They want to express their feelings and just, if you know anything about cats, Pisces, the moment they roll over and expose their tummy, that's their way of saying, I want to be vulnerable with you. I feel safe with you. I want, I want to, you know, let's be playful. Let's be romantic after an argument, five of swords. So it feels like this week there's a possible argument surrounding past events or past triggers and it's going to question you both. You both are going to be like, what am I doing here? Is this really for me? Is this person really mine? But then later this week, this person tries to make you happy, tries to be playful to see if you guys can bring that fun to the relationship and then something ends up being peaceful, being resolved. Makeup, makeup, boom, boom, bedroom stuff. <laughs> We're all adults here, or at least we better all be adults because I have my settings set for adults only. <laughs> Even though I don't really go that, you know, R-rated here. All right, so the energy going forward for the two of you is justice. Why the justice card? Now, if any of you guys are in recent no contact with your special person, I will pull their hidden feelings for you at the end of the reading. And if you are talking to them, I'll get even more hidden feelings. Why the justice card? The Ace of Pentacles. You guys see the opportunity in front of you guys. You know that you are each other's rocks. Um, I feel like a family tree is strong. It takes a lot to knock down a strong tree. It takes a freaking act of Congress, a, a, a saw. You would need an electric saw to knock down this thick tree. And it's a family tree. Ten of Pentacles sits on that family tree. So they're showing me peace here. They're showing me peace within a family tree. And then there's the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. A lot of love here. Your person's coming in as the Knight of Cups and you're coming up as the Queen of Cups. So you might be a little bit older than this person. Um, you're also coming up as the more nurturing type. Maybe this person's not that affectionate. Maybe this person is more playful than, you know, in their feelings. They don't get that emotional with you. They're like, hey, let's go have some fun. Let's just have some fun. And you're over here like, hey, you know, let's, let's talk about our feelings. So your advice is the Eight of Cups. There might be something you need to walk away from in order for this to be savaged, okay? Why the Eight of Cups? Because I don't feel like this is telling you to walk away from this person. Why the Eight of Cups? Four of Cups. Now the Four of Cups is somebody moody, sulky. You know, focuses on the negatives and not so much on the positives. When you think about the Four of Cups, it's it, it shows. If you look at the traditional Rider Waite tarot deck of the Four of Cups card, Pisces, you'll see a man sitting in front of a tree with his arms crossed like this, as if to say nine out of ten items on his Christmas list was fulfilled, but he's focusing on the one that wasn't fulfilled. Someone that like is always very hyper aware to what they don't have versus focusing on what they do have. So if this person's been acting like that with you, there's there's something you need to, you know, you guys need to walk away from that behavior. You both need to focus on the highlights of the connection. Yes, look at the negatives, but the more you look at the negatives, the more they're amplified. But if this is you, Pisces, because this is a channel of accountability, I'm accountable for when I do something wrong. If this has been you, you got to be very, you know, self-aware. Have you been picking this person apart? Have you been focusing on all the negatives and you know taking away the fun? Maybe you have to walk away from being picky, you know. But if it's been this person, they're saying to reevaluate your emotions and ask yourself: Is it this person's feelings that you're picking on that's triggering you, or is it your own? The Four of Pentacles is you know showing a lack of apathy. I think that's the right word, um, or showing apathy. I don't freaking know. It's. It's also my mild depression card. Now, full disclaimer, entertainment purposes only. I'm not a doctor. I can't diagnose anybody with depression. But this is my mild depression card. Someone here might be dealing with mild depression and may need to go seek, you know, therapy, a counselor to walk away from old childhood wounds that never got healed. Okay? And it's going to help restore balance in someone's life. Now, if you're in recent no contact with somebody, I'm going to pull their hidden feelings. But based off what I see here with this person, you guys aren't done. you guys aren't done with each other this week. This is this has a continuance energy attached to it. it it's not done. I would have gotten the ten of swords here. Um, it's showing me that there's an opportunity for you guys to continue growing this family tree with open, honest emotions being expressed, and there's peace being brought to the situation. 
But if this continues on the way that it's continuing on, that could be the route the relationship goes to Dunsky land, all right? So you could be connecting with a fixed sign, a Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, or an Aquarius, um, a Cancerian. I've got Leo right here. I've got Scorpio right here. Cancer. Those are the main ones that wanted to come through the reading. Really? I don't think so. Okay. Hidden message. Hidden feelings. Please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl, by the way, Pisces. And if you would like to book a private reading with me, you'll find the link to my website in the description box below with this video. If this reading did not resonate, I do have a Pisces November 2023 Love Monthly in my November playlist where you can take a peek at that. And my most recent All Signs reading is in the description box below. Just looking for the Pisces timestamp. Letting you down was the worst decision I made. I'm, I'm trying, hold on, I'm learning how to read again. I'm still trying to find a place for myself in the world. Maybe someone here is still trying to figure out where their place is in this life or in this world and is feeling down and it's affecting the relationship. My memories of you haunt me and keep me thinking about what could have been. If someone doesn't figure out what they want, this could end up being a connection where you look back on the past and wish you would have done things differently or wish that they would have done things differently. You know, when you're still dealing with a situation that's in front of you, you still have a chance to change the direction of your relationship. You can change the direct trajectory if you don't like the where it's going so that you're, you don't have to worry about regretting what you would have done if you had a chance again. I'm resisting my desire for you because it's too late now. We've grown apart and you moved on. For some of you, you guys moved on and it's time to still look at the situation and self-reflect and heal, okay? And heal. Walk away from what no longer serves you. So I hope this reading helped. If it did, please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl. Do only take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Do not give your power away to tarot cards. If you feel it in your heart that the situation is much different than what I picked up, then maybe this reading's not for you. Always trust your own intuition above mine. Okay? I love you, Pisces. Take care.